This failed general court martial finds the accused private peaceful guilty as charged in accordance with section four of the Army Act. You will remain in custody until sentenced. These proceedings are now terminated. Take away the prisoner. Sir, prisoner and escort. Left, turn. Left, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right. to midnight. I shan't sleep. I won't dream it away. Tonight, more than any other night of my life, I want to feel alive. Twelve pheasants. Twelve? Yeah. My land, my pheasants. We should be out working in the fields. We'll learn more at school. It's not so bad. Honest. Whenever you say honest, Charlie, I know it's not true. Hey. Come to school in bare feet. You do not lie. You do not cheat. These are my commandments. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. Admiral Nelson to General Baden Powell. Poor and timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic's in thy breastie. Still thou art blessed compared with me. The present only toucheth thee. Yes, Snipper? Why will you be talking foreign, miss? It's not foreign. It's about a mouse. It's Scottish. And where is Scotland? England, miss? <laughs> I can do it, Charlie. I will not. So it will never come undone. Is he your brother? What does your dad do? Dean Keeper? My dad's a rat catcher. Like the pipe piper? Yes. Well, he don't like children. Tomo. Hello, Joe. That's lovely, Joe. Oranges and lemon. Who's got a loony for a brother? What did you say, Jimmy Parsons? <laughs> yeah, but there's a loony, yeah, but there's a loony. No, he's not. <laughs> yes, he is. <coughs> <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Parsons won't be doing that again, Tomo. Got him in the goalies. Your wife, sir. Uh-huh. Can't we stay outside in the fresh air a little longer? It's far too cold. Thank you. Ugh. And what did you boys get up to at school today? Oh, this and that. What have you done to your face, Tomo? Mmm, bread and butter pudding, my favorite. Tomo? <laughs> my favorite. Joe, brother. How was the shoot, James? Ask the boys. We were at school. <laughs> Honest. Colonel saw the best of it. He's a silly old fart. Mad old duffer. He may well be a silly old fart. Oh. It's the Colonel who pays your wage and puts the roof above your head. It's not his money. He married into it. No, no. He's a silly old bucker. You must show more respect. <laughs> well, I show more respect where respect's due, my love. What big eyes you have, Grandma? It's a little red riding hood. All a bear to see you with, said the wolf. And what big teeth you have, Grandma? All a better. Say, Grandma, you <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're too old for this. Look, Big Joe don't get stories like you do at school. School? Look, you come up to the woods with me on Saturday, Tomo. We'll clear the dead trees. The only dead wood round here needs clearings in Tomo's head. <laughs> oh. I thought you were putting the boys to bed. What are all you men looking at? Seems that's chopped down the old trees. Well, clear space for the walnuts. I don't like walnuts. Walnut trees are special. Why? It's the grain of the wood. It makes fine furniture. Come on, Biddy. These ladies haven't got all day. Yes, Miss Forrest. Some may not even have that one. Morning, Auntie. Oh, and what might you be after, he's so peaceful? More blacking for the stew. Well, you'll have to take your turn like everyone else. Come on, Joe. Good morning, madam. The colonel's usual, if you please. I'll deliver it myself. There you go. Deliverer. Your pinch of snuff, Colonel. I'd like to pinch you, Miss Far. Colonel. Oh, don't mind him. He's the soul of discretion. And how is your good wife? Poorly. Still? Not long to go, I fear. <laughs> I love you. Just the two of us. It's a damn sight more peaceful, just the one of you. Which one of us do you love the most? Hey? Me or Charlie? Or Big Joe? Or Big Joe. Well, no, Big Joe's special. You know, I've had three sons, Tomo. And each one I've loved so much that when the next ones come along, I didn't fathom how I had any more love in me. But, since you ask, 
I love my heir apparent, Charlie, the most. I hate you! I hate I'm you! I'm teasing, Tomo! Timorous beastie. We sleek it, Curran, timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic's in thy breastie. Still, thou art blessed compared with me. The present only toucheth thee. I'm sorry! Stay back! Run! 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 The worry's Sunday best. Needs pressing. And there's a button missing. Very James peaceful, I must say. James Peaceful was a good man. One of the finest workers I've known. Always cheerful as he went about his work. The Peaceful family have been employed by my family, by my wife's family, five generations. And in all the 20 years uh, he worked, as um, gamekeeper and forester on the estate, James Peaceful was a credit to his family and his village. We shall remember him. We now commit his body to the ground, <clears throat> earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, I have no wish to intrude upon your grief, Mrs. Peaceful. And um, forgive me if this seems a little indelicate. Yeah, but there is the matter of the cottage. Our cottage? Strictly speaking, it's a tied cottage, tied to your husband's employment on the estate. Yeah, now, of course, that he's gone... You want us out? Well, not if we can come to an arrangement. There's a position up at the house that might suit you. Yeah, lady's maid to my dear wife. That's very good of you, Colonel. But I have my children. Yeah, I, I have considered that. And I'm pleased to offer Charles employment in my hunt kennels. Thomas, of course, is still at school. As for the other one, well, there, there, there's always the lunatic asylum. I could never do that, Colonel. Never. You do understand the position you're in, Mrs. Peaceful? Yes, I do. My condolences, Mrs. Peaceful. Miss Farr? Good day.
You married the first man that turned your head. Nothing but a forester. He couldn't even do that properly. I'll need your help, Auntie. No, Hazel. Please. Not one now. One bird and bird pudding. Potatoes is all you'll be getting from now on. Coarse and vulgar and no manners. Mother. Oh, not now, Joe. I don't know what the colonel was thinking of. A lady's maid at your age. Please don't go yet. I have no time, Hazel. I have a business to run. You know that. Cutter's sons spied the evil old colonel, pushing his harmless, dear little wife into the lake to drown her. Charlie. And so the nasty colonel and horrible grim werewolf lived unhappily ever after and had lots of monster children with hairy whiskers coming out of their nostrils. Charlie. Mm? I've been thinking about father. Oh, he died. What are we gonna do? About what? About Mother. About Grimmer Wolf. Being hungry all the time. We'll scavenge in the forest. We can tickle for trout in the river. It's the Colonel's river. His land. You work for him. No one owns the wildlife, Tomo. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> Milk and sugar? Empire Day. The late Queen's birthday. God bless her. Today we remember the warriors who died with honor fighting for their country overseas. And God bless the British Empire and the taming of the natives to the greater glory of civilization. But whilst we must cherish our past, we must all look forward to the future and the greatness that lies therein. And with that, I now declare the Empire Garden Fate well and truly open. Thank you. My father's the colonel's gamekeeper. Oh. Where are you from? Peru. What? <laughs> this is my little brother, Tamo. I'm nearly 11. Hello, Tamo. She's called Molly, and she's from Peru. Her? And I'm Charlie Peaceful, age 13. Meet Charlie in the barley for a party. This is my older brother, Big Joe. Hello, Joe. Pleased to meet you, peaceful brothers. What did your father do? He was the Colonel's gamekeeper. I see. He's dead. Dad's dead. I'm sorry. Have you got brothers and sisters? No, I haven't even got a mother. Hey, no secrets, Tommy Peaceful. It's Tomo. I'm Tomo. Come on, Charlie. Where are you off to? Nowhere. Nowhere. Honest. Oh, what happened then, 
onions. That was your fault. What did I do? This way. Monks, the gamekeeper. Run, Tomo. No, Charlie. If one goes, you both go. We best stay put then, because I'm going nowhere. What do you think of Molly? She's all right, for a girl. Sad news. It's the lady of the house who's passed away. Oh no. No, she's been unwell, as you know. I read the sword, you must still be in the colonel's employ. Oh. But Miss Farr will be taking on duties at the house. The colonel wishes you to take on the linen and the lawn for you. Oh. Oh. Colonel's wife has passed away. I don't believe it. The Colonel killed him. No, of course he didn't. What a terrible thing to say, Tomo. She's been frail for a long while now. She died peacefully in her sleep. So that's it then. You lost your job. The Colonel's throwing us out. No. You're to stay on his hunt kennels. Oh, good. And I'm to take in the Colonel's laundry here. So I can look after Big Joe again. And what about Grandma Wolf? Now, don't call her that. Why not? She prowls around in sheep's clothing whenever the colonel's watching. <laughs> what does she get up to now? <laughs> ah! What'd you do that for, Jimmy Potter? Go on, then, peaceful. You know what? Need your big brother to fight for you. Form a scab and drop off, dumb breath. To wash it before then. What did your mother die, Molly? She died as I was born. Oh. She gave me life, Tomo. Don't you feel bad that you. I feel sad that she isn't here to love me. I still love her. Like you still love your father. I suppose. from Molly. Tell me what. I think you're... Move! Oh. Right to the river! <laughs> hey! Wait for me! <laughs> hey! Off all your clothes. No! Go on. No! I will if you will. No! Come on in, the water. 
That is lovely. Come on. Come on, boy. Be a man. <laughs> Because no tomorrow could ever be as good as today. I'm going to tell the future. I've seen gypsies do it. The stones say that as long as we stick together, we'll be lucky and happy till the day we die. Do stones say who you marry? Yes. Mr. Peaceful. Cross fingers, Molly Stones. They're just as reliable or unreliable as praying to God. Well, I want to see my brother. I don't think so. I want to see Charlie. I didn't hate my father. He died trying to save me. Fathers and sons. Fathers and sons. Father. Your father is in God's hands now. As we're all destined to be, my son. I don't believe in heaven. Oh. I'm not sure I've ever really believed in God. A church, I'd look up at Jesus hanging on the cross and wonder why God, who's supposed to be his father and almighty and powerful, would let them do that to him, would let him suffer so much if there is a God. Why was my father killed? Why does this war happen? Why will morning come? Happy in your work, Thomas Peaceful? Afternoon, Molly. Mind out, you clot. Sorry, Grandma. Don't you call me that around here, Thomas. Makes me sound old and crotchety. I'm really you're young and kind hearted. I hear you, Thomas, peaceful. The Colonel wants tea for two at three. Yes, ma'am. And how do I take my tea? Same as yesterday, ma'am. Precisely. Same as the day before. Isn't Stop muttering, Molly Monks. Well, he's old and slow. It's no use for hunting. No, sir. No use to anyone. No, sir. Well, you know what to do. Sir? Sorry. What is it, lad? He's done you no harm. The hounds are my property. I decide whether they live or die. Yes, you do, sir. But he's Molly's favourite. Oh, that's sentimental rot. He's a useless old beast. Go gone, sir. Good man. Take care of it.
Bring the car out! Go on, go on, go on, that boy! He did it, no, he did it, Johnny, we did it! That's it, run! Run! Oh, a proper job, Tom! <laughs> I'll make an apple pie to go with the stew. Yeah, boy, in there, in there, in there! That's it, Billy! Get out of my way! Foggy. Oh, no, 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 Joe Garrick's like it. The Colonel's following. He not is following you, Johnny. Please, only right behind you. I've got the sheets ready for you now, Colonel. I'm not here about that blasted linen. Thomas. Sir. Charles. Just don't get run away, sir, honest. Liars as well as thieves. I beg your pardon, Colonel. Oh, I had to do it, Mother. Do what, Charlie? He told me to shoot him. Shoot who? I can do as I like with him. With who? He stole one of my hounds, Mrs. Peaceful. And as magistrate of this village... So, am I to understand, Colonel, that if you were to shoot this hound, then he was of no use to you at all? Oh, no use. Joe, would you fetch the money mug from the mantelpiece, please? Money mug. Money mother. Thank you, Joe. There you are, Colonel. Sixpence. Not a bad price for a useless old dog. So now he's not stolen, is he? You're both fired. <laughs> I don't know what you're so pleased about. You've both just lost your jobs. <laughs> Thomas Brasser. Hello, lad. Morning. Any work for our young labor? No, I've got no work for you here, lad. Nothing. No, I've got my men. I don't need no more. Sorry, lad. And another pint, then, please. Hang on. No. You better make that a half. Your health. Nice uh, one, Jimmy. I did for you, Fred, eh? We're a team. <laughs> Fuck up, Nipper. Nice one, Fredo. All right, Tamo. Nipper. Out of a job, is it? Well, you know, Pete. Well, there's a car game Friday fortnight against the King's Arms. We could do with a reserve. Old enough now to play with the lads, are you? Young, peaceful. I'll have a go. What's Trump's? Hearts. <laughs> Sod it. What do you think that for? You're supposed to be counting the cards. <laughs> Looks like someone's lost their place on the car team, Jimmy. Better luck next time, yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tom. So was a farm. Hard on your own. Oh, yeah, boy. It's always helping the harvest. It's a lot of work, though. And I'm not getting any younger, mind. Hey, cheeky. <laughs> well. Well, what? How about I come and work for you? I suppose it'd serve the Colonel right. I did take you on. Both of you. Both of us. For one wage, mind.
Here, we brought a hound to see you, look. Hello, Billy, old boy. Oh, you smell sweet. That pong's not Billy, it's you. It's horse poo. It's better than dog shite, hey, mind. We don't want you peacefuls here, bothering our Molly. And she don't want to see you. Go on. Come on, Billy. Charlie. Charlie. Hmm. Are we going to see Molly again? Or not? Put that women out your hair. I'll walk. All right. Don't be late, though, Tomo, lad. I won't. Get out there, boys! You think Molly might meet us later? Huh? In secret. Play your little daft games without me, Tomo, all right? Work, Tomo! Cavalry. We shall be fighting with the Frenchies against the Bosch. Another one, bring us another one. That's it. Oh, God. <laughs> there she is. Oh, wow. Look at this one. I think I'm in love. Pardon? I think I'm in love. Well, which one, her? You're far too young to be in love, Tomo. All right, boy. Come on, Ingalls.
afraid to take off all your clothes? No! Come on, boys. Be a man. <laughs> Strange Joe. It's war. Horses and guns. That's how we beat the boar in the Cape and how he knocked the stuffing out of the Zulu in Natal. Horses and guns. But we work with cart horses, you daft old b <laughs> <laughs> You need hunters, not plowers. Our horses are no sooner charged into battle than I skip home before last order. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the cavalry. How do you move the great guns, the ammunition trains, the supply magazines? The army needs all the horses it can get, and all the men. Fit, able-bodied young men, ready to fulfill their patriotic duty. Oh, fuck. Up the revolution! thrown her out. Huh? Her father and the colonel have thrown her out. And it's your fault, Charlie. Why? What's going on? What's going on? Is that she's going to have your baby. That's what's going on. I didn't want to hide it from you, Tom. I you did hide it from me. I didn't me. want to hurt you. Because you love her, don't you? But I love her, Tom. She loves me. She's not a girl anymore. I hate you. No, you don't, Tom. Besides, who'll be my best man? Jimmy Parsons. Get married? Of course. But not to Jimmy Parsons. Friends? James. <laughs> he left school sooner than he wanted. And now he's gone and got a nice girl pregnant. <laughs> Who does that remind you of? No wedding bells? No bells.
Say the powers of the same lightning. When will you pay me? Say the powers of old Bailey. Who would shoot their own soldiers? Itchy swords, Lois. Could be worse. Could be crabs. I see the French. And they shoot their lot for cowardice all the time. Right, what good's that do? I mean, the generals, the politicians, like, they think it stops us from asking what we're doing out here in the first place. Oh, well, it bloody doesn't. Why don't they just let him off? Let him sit out the war behind bars? Anything. Here comes a candle to light you to bed And here comes a chopper to chop off your head Oh, Tom! Don't swing up where I've just cleaned them Well, do it yourself then! Special war office. They want the horses. That's stupid. You can't argue with them, Charlie. We dance to their tune. Calling all horse owners. I need you to deliver them to market. I'll do it. Gentlemen, boys and girls, shan't beat about the bush. I shan't tell you it's all tickety boo out there in France. It's an hard slog. But there's only one question you need to ask yourselves about this war. Who would you rather see marching through your streets? Us lot or the Hun? Because if we don't beat them over there, they'll come marching through right here, burning your houses, violating your women, killing your children. They've already beaten brave little Belgium, but now they've taken a fair slice of France, too. If we don't beat them at their own game, they'll gobble us up as well. Well, do you want the hunt here? No! Do you? No! Shall we blast them to kingdom come? Yes! Then we shall need you. And all the brave lads out in France need you, too. And remember one thing, lads, and I can vouch for this. All the ladies love a soldier. <laughs> Go on! Hey, now, who'll be the first brave lad to come and take the king's shilling? I'm looking for boys with hearts of oak. 
Lads who love their king and country. Men what hate the lousy Han. Go on, son. Go and fight. It's every man's duty to fight when his country calls. Go on. You're not a man. Coward! 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 Five o'clock sent me to market. The army was there recruiting. Jimmy Parsons joined up and Pete. Fred? Oh, well, don't worry about it, Tomo. They can't make you go. No, you're too young anyway. I'm nearly 16. You got me 19 to serve overseas, Tomo. They don't want boys. I'm not a boy. I'm a baby boy, baby oh, boy. Stop it now, Joe. Anyway, that's what the professional army's for. They're a brave lot, though, the volunteers. If women had their say, there wouldn't be war in the first place. Charlie, you wouldn't go, would you? No, I don't be daft. I'd shoot a rat, because it might bite me. I'd shoot a rabbit, because I could eat that. Why would I want to shoot a German? I never met a German. I've seen the list, Tomo. All the killed and wounded. What's it for? So if you little rich men can hang on to power a little while longer while they bleed us dry. I don't know about that, Charlie. No, it ain't right. I couldn't bear the loss. Not with James Scott. It's better than shoveling shit. It's better than breaking your back all your life working someone else's land. And it's better paid too. Well, it's not a job that lasts forever, though, is it, Tomo? Well, who wants to get stuck here forever? Here's home, Tomo. This is where you're from. Who would you rather see working through your streets? Us lot or the hunt? Now, grow up, Tomo, please. You're a coward, Charlie. Peaceful. And you're tired, Tomo. So don't say anything you regret in the morning. Name? Thomas Peaceful. Occupation? Farm labourer. Date of birth? 5th of October. Yeah? Yeah, lad. 5th of October, 1895. Sign this. Now report to the doctor. Next. Name? John Moore. Occupation? Labour. State of birth? Cough. <coughs> Fit as a fiddle. Stand up straight, lad. There you are. Five foot ten. Breathe in.
炸猫。I love you, Molly. What, you're not in Paris to kiss me in front of your pals? No. No, why should I be? Charlie, what's bothering you? All the lads going off to war. And I'm staying here. Charlie, they're not about to become fathers. Sergeant? No smoking in the trenches at night! Why not? Because Fritz will snipe your cobblers off, you burk! But we're not in the trenches, Sergeant, and it's, uh, it's date time. Stand still! Chest out! Stomach in! Look down! Front! You're the best they can send us these days. And I'm supposed to make bloody soldiers out of you. Name! Peaceful, Sergeant. Private Tomo, peaceful. You want your head blown off, peaceful? No, Sergeant. You want your nuts blown off, peaceful? No, Sergeant. You want your arse blown off? Peaceful! No, Sergeant! Then you do what I say! When I say it! Yes, Sergeant! Thank you, Sergeant Hanley. Captain Wilkins! Sir! At ease. You've all had a long voyage, men. A hard march. You have leave to visit the local estaminet. The what, sir? The pub. And the first round's on you. Sir! And there are not the way to share us down. The sailor landed on the key. The ship was sailing past the last year. Who are they? Indians, Tom. Soldiers like you and me. Are those fellas singing foreign? Foreign? <laughs> no, no, I don't understand what they're saying anyway. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I oh, someone had to look after this one. Oh, I can look after myself. What took you so long? Me? Hey? Bosons. Better late than never. If you'd left it much longer, the war would have been over. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that? Mother. It's the best watch in the world. It's father's watch? Hmm. Heir apparent. Corrupts up. And she is the whore's divers. You... You are a fighting boy? Tommy? Uh, not Tommy. Tomo. <laughs> I do not understand. But I think you are too young to be in a war. I'm old enough. I'm fighting here with my pals. My brother. Go home, Tommy. No likey, Monsieur Bamfleff. Vu <laughs> likey un tumble dons the avac. You're just boys. <laughs> I'm a young. <laughs> 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 
Die waren ze beleefd. Ja, ja. Hé, voor Piers. Dat is mijn dochter. Oef. Ik ga een cider. Vijf biers, één cider. Ik hoor je lachen naar babyface. Parsons, je kunt dat face like a hold horse horse. Stuff a sock in it. Hey, here's to our uh, Mr. Munnings. Grandma Wolf. Cheers. And the Colonel. May they all suffer the misery they so richly deserve. <laughs> Fetch them yours. What's your name, Private? Peaceful. Private Peaceful. You've been funny. You know what these three stripes are, boy? That makes you a sergeant, which means you'll never make an officer, which makes you one of the lads. Ah. Thank you. Good luck, sergeant. Here he is. Oh, hey, hey. 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 Yes, that's a <laughs> Tamale. Oh, that's for me to say. Tamale. 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 Back up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. Off home, lads. England's that way, boys. Do send our love. Platoon, halt! Private peaceful. Sergeant. Sergeant. Sentry duty. Both of you. Well, what do we do then? If you nod off, it'll be a court martial if Fritz doesn't shoot you up the arse first. Quick! March! Fine night for poaching, Tomo. What happened to all the trees? <laughs> What's the matter, peacefully? Scared of mice? Oh, Parsons. Save that for them, all right? Big man, eh? Private. Not exactly, Sergeant. I'm just a country boy. Like yourself. <laughs> Message received. It's important. Or As you were. We have orders to send out a patrol into the trench opposite to bring back a prisoner for questioning. HQ need to know what enemy regiments have been deployed. Righto. Volunteers. There's a double rum ration in it for anyone who does. Oh, I'm in there now. Oh, I'm me. Oh, oh, me too. Ah, the old village card team, eh? <laughs> <laughs> With the sergeant! Pete! Pete! Oh, Face the stretcher bearer! It's on the double! Keep your heads down, lads! Down, sergeant! Keep your heads down, sergeant! Stretcher bearer! Come on, sir! I've oh, got you! Oh, oh, you get it! How are you, Pete, sir? Come on, sergeant! Come on, sergeant! Leave me! Get yourselves down! Oh, if one goes down, we all go down in our ah. Come on, come on! Keep his head down, fellow! Keep it down! Come on, come on!
Thank you, peaceful. Oh, anything for an officer. Don't panic, Tom. Oh, no. oh, 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 listen. Listen. Stick with me, all right? Come on. Oh, 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 Go, boy! Go, Tommy, go! Go! Oh, God, you! Ah, fuck! Oh, yeah, you German bastard! <laughs> Prepare to counterattack! <laughs> I was in the gas attack. Let's take a look at you. Mouth. Breathe in. And out. You didn't catch a whiff of it. Next! I can't, I can't see straight. I can't breathe. Calm down, man. You were lucky. Take a look outside. Next! Right, come on. Tomo! Charlie, what happened? Bullet, shrapnel. Dead like a pig, boy. They're sending me back. Back. Congratulations, Peaceful. Your ticket home. Oh, I'll be sure to send your love, Sergeant. They're not taking you now, Charlie. Together. Tom, you'll be all right. Hey, Tom, keep your chin up. I'll write to you. Better still, you write to me. Well, we'll see you soon, Charlie. Cheerio, lad. Don't any of you other yellow bastards go shooting yourselves in the foot. Hey, hey, hey. Well, don't you worry, Sergeant. We won't. Well, come on. Come on, Tom. All that fighting. No gain on either side. Well, have another beer. Here's the horrible bloody hand. <laughs> oh, why? Mm. I'm going after Charlie. <laughs> well, now will you get there? Swim. I'll find a way. I'll get back somehow. But that's desertion, Tomo. It's shoot deserters. Hang on, Tomo. 
Forget it. Tomo. Tomo. Or he won't have gone far. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Excuse me. You gave me a fright. What are you doing there? Is that easy? Uh, you are ill. Hiding from your friends? I've seen you before, I think. My name is Anna. I'm Tomo. So it's true, then. Every English soldier is called Tommy. No, not Tommy. I'm Tomo. And what do you do when you're at home, Tommy Tomo? When you're not playing soldiers? I work on a farm. You're a farmer? No, not, not really. I work on Farmer Cox's farm. In the fields. Sheep, horses. Horses? Yes. He's magnificent. Yes. I promise. children to Christ, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of God. And he took them up in his arms and blessed them. And who's left to make the ammunition? Bloody women. See, the problem with Kitchener's army is they're all amateurs. In my day, we were a regular army, professionals. Well, the Hun would be on the run now if these young scamps were as brave as we were then. Just one big push. Silly old fart, Colonel. <laughs> I beg your pardon. The world's changing, old man. When you lot stop ruling our bloody lives, England will change too. There'll be no more empire, no more landowners exploiting the labour of the masses, and there'll be no more bloody war! You anarchist! Call me what you like, Colonel. You can blast us to smithereens out there on the front line, but you'll not stop us. We're fighting the Germans, but we're at war with your kind too. And the old world's about to be ripped apart by the likes of me! the monks. Your grandfather. I heard. One day, when this war is over, we shall all be together again, and young Tomo will see his uncle for the first time and smile. Big Joe already smiles at him, 
and little Tomo was Big Joe's great grin, and Charlie's nose, and your blue eyes. Because of all this, I love him more than I can say. Your Molly. All right, Tamo. All right, boys. Where's Anna? Anna, the girl who works here. We had a rendezvous. She's with her other gentleman friends. Love her, boy. Monsieur. Anna? Where's Anna? Tis er niet. Weg. Weggegaan. Verwoest. Pardon? Gone. Gone? Gone where? Dood. Anna's dead. I don't understand. Dead? Dead? My daughter is dead! How? What happened? She can't be dead. Fetching eggs from the next village. For you soldiers. For your supper. One big bombshell. Boom. And she is dead. No. I I'm sorry. Go to hell, Tommy! Go to hell, you English! You Germans! You French! I take your war with you! The hell! But they won't want you back. You were injured. And Tomo? And little Tomo? You think I should just stay here and let them fight without me? That'll make our son proud. I just want everything to be as it was. And then you'll love me. I do love you, you silly man. You know I we'll do. Be more loving then, Mal. Christ's sake, there's a bloody war on. You've upset little Tomo with your bickering. No, we're not bickering, Mum. Honest. Oh, Charlie. Being married is hard. But not having a husband and father for your children is hardest of all. So listen to what your wife has to say before making promises to yourself and your pals. You curse the filthy hun! You insert your bayonet! You twist it! You pull it out clean again! Twist it! I'm the best bloody teacher you lads will ever have! Stand down! All right, now. These old lads will now show you the ropes. Which am I then, Sergeant? A new lad or an old clown? Well, well, well. Private Peaceful. Back for second helpings, eh? Well, I wasn't gonna miss this, Sergeant. I'm warning you. I've got my eye on you. One step out of line. Don't you worry about me, Sergeant. I'll be good as gold. Cross my heart and hope to die. Get to the end of the line, soldier. Sergeant? Hi, Port! How's Molly? Little Tom oh, don't ask me about them. Why not? I can tell you plenty about home. Hedgerows are untrimmed. Fields lie fallow. There's no one to plough the fields, is there? There's no lads. Just don't ask me about them, Tomo. Not out here. They don't belong here. We belong back there at home. Do you understand? Port arms! Clear! Clear! 
filthy. Private Peaceful! Rifle! Above your head! Now! About! Turn! Doubling! At the double! 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 At the double! Get up! Get up! Get up! You move! You drop that rifle, Private Peaceful! You begin the punishment again! Do you hear me? Yes, Sergeant! I didn't hear you! Yes, Sergeant! Now move your feet! Move! Get up! Get up! Get up! You want to try it, Sergeant? You want to pick on someone? Leave it, Charlie! Go on! Charlie! Leave it, Charlie! You were saying, huh? Leave it, Charlie! The rest of you men! Charlie. Fall out! Charlie! Steady up there! <laughs> Lieutenant Buckland! Attention! Insubordination in a time of war is mutiny. And mutiny is punishable by death by firing squad. Now, this time, Peaceful's been let off lightly. Field punishment number one. Fall the men out, Sergeant. Fall out! Not so cocky now, are they? Soldier. Yeah, I'm doing you next. You seem to like you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.
Charlie, I have to tell you. I heard about the girl. I'm sorry. Her name was Anna. She was lovely. But it's not her. I know. You still have feelings for Molly. I'll love her till the day I die. Oh, Tom. Listen. Damn. Father needn't have died. He was trying to save me. If only I'd have run when he called out to me. The tree wouldn't have fallen on him. He'd have lived. It was that tree that killed him, Tomo. Not you. I want you to have this. It's such a wonderful watch. You wind it regular, and time will never stop. You have to promise to look after it, though, Tomo. I promise. Fred? <coughs> Keep going, Tomo. Wait, Charlie. Shoot him! Kill the bastard! He'll put Tomo in charge. Go on! Major Fitzpatrick convened this field general court martial to try the case of Cardus in the face of the enemy against Private Peaceful. He disobeyed my order, sir. The order from high command to press home the attack. Peaceful, you're a worthless man. Worthless. This field general court martial finds the accused Private Peaceful guilty as charged. Take away the prisoner. Sir, escort, attention! Good job. 
Boli. Boli. Ja ocelnám. Môj tak nám. Oh no. Oh no, it's here, it's tough, Both brothers were charged, both were imprisoned, so why bring only one of them to trial, sir? Shouldn't both cases be dismissed? We cannot have soldiers disobeying orders in the face of the enemy. I must pass the maximum sentence, then the final decision is for the general, and Haig could show mercy. Then why bother to recommend the firing squad, sir? I'm not recommending it. I'm bound by the Army Act. You blame the government. This army runs on strict discipline, but we're not inhuman. is all we give him. One hour for a man's life. General Haig has confirmed the sentence. Private Peaceful will be shot for cowardice in the face of the enemy at six o'clock on the morning of the 25th of June, 1916. I said, fall out.
Tomo, wait for us. They say there's gonna be an almighty push. We'll push them away from the salmon all the way back to Berlin. I will survive somehow, Charlie. I must. I have promises to keep. <laughs>